we are in Isla del Coco, Costa Rica, which is about 350 miles off the coast of Costa Rica. It's an absolutely remarkable location. Once you arrive, you can understand why it was featured in the movie Jurassic Park. As you travel along the perimeter, there are fantastic waterfalls. This is due to the heavy year-round rains. Most of the time we spent underwater, we did about 20 dives during the week we were there. These islands are home to a tremendous variety of animals, plants, and microorganisms. And it's the microorganisms that we were particularly interested in. You can see here that we're collecting sediments, and these sediments provide to us a, a vast diversity of microorganisms. And these microbes provide uh, the key molecules for our drug discovery program. The beautiful coral that we see on virtually every dive, it's very healthy. The fish populations are also very healthy. Here you see my colleague Frank who's collecting cyanobacteria. We were the first uh, ever to collect these organisms in Isla del Coco, which are uh, photosynthetic uh, ancient bacteria uh, that also produce a, a vast array of uh, interesting and unusual drug-like compounds. There are also remarkable sites, such as uh, various species of sharks, including white tip sharks and uh, hammerhead sharks that school in this area. And this is one of the few areas in the world that you see hammerhead sharks that are schooling. We also see very dense fish populations. This is a protected area. It's, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and uh, there's a 22-kilometer uh, perimeter uh, where fishing uh, is illegal. On this dive, uh, we saw a guinea fowl male and female pair, which are actually quite abundant on the reef. You see uh, white-tipped sharks that are resting on the bottom, uh, squirrel fish that are abundant and, and fearless. And here I nearly came dangerously close to a huge spotted ray. I could see its barbed tail coming up just as I was able to move back uh, to a safe range. We don't go into these uh, remarkable waters uh, without a dive guide. Uh, here's Brian, who's a Costa Rican. He helped us navigate underwater in the heavy currents and deep depths. We were fortunate that one day we were able to spend on the island collecting a pasalit beetle. This is an unusual species that's very productive in its ability to, uh, to degrade cellulose on the one hand, but we're very uh, interested in its gut microbiome and how it protects itself in its environment. And we suspect that it makes some very uh, potent uh, antibiotic and antifungal compounds. Generally, we find them in decaying logs, and, and we're able to pack them up and, and, along with our other samples, bring them back to Michigan under formal permits. Costa Rica, through this International Cooperative Biodiversity Group, which is funded by NIH and NSF and other federal agencies, are providing us access to some very exciting biodiversity, uh, which in turn enables us to discover very interesting and unique new medicinal agents um, that we'll be investigating to improve human health.